Hey everyone, John from Ride Upstate giving you a little bit of a different view. My phone's buzzing uh, <laughs> this week because a little bit different format for these videos now on my road to 90%. I'm not going to be going over every trip. I'm just going to be providing summaries and if something interesting came up, uh, then I will mention that. So the reason I'm doing this, last title of my video was I don't know if I can keep doing this or something like that. And uh, the reason I said that was because going over each and every trip is just painful. <laughs> That's the best word to use. It's painful. So instead I'll be making these shorter videos and I think it'll still convey the same information. Okay, so for week 10, which was from November 6th through November 12th, I did only five trips on Uber for $44.54. And that came out to about $8.90 per trip. So I had two hours and 15 minutes on the app, um, which would come out to about $19.80 per hour. But only 53.5 of those minutes were what I call utilized time, which is time that didn't overlap with my commute. So that actually brings my earnings up to $50 an hour. I got two tips uh, in these five trips for $6. So that was 40% of my customers and 13.5% of my earnings. I got three consecutive trip bonuses for $1.66. And my estimated fuel cost for these trips was about a gallon of gas. Uh, so $3.69 for the cost of gas. And Uber's take, uh, based on my calculations, was 30% on these five trips. So I started the week with a 71% acceptance rate and a 6% cancellation rate. And I ended the week with a 73% acceptance rate and a 6% cancellation rate. I'm probably going to go into the Uber's take thing a little bit more in another video. You know, no, I won't go check out and I'll link it up here. Um, go check out Levi over at tip you in the app. He breaks down how Uber is not taking 50 to 60% of a trip. And I'll give you one hint as to why that's not the case taxes. All right. So until next time, I'm John from Ride Upstate reminding you that just because you're in a small market doesn't mean you need to settle for small profits. Bye.